If you're reviewing your students' papers and you're starting to have some concerns about academic integrity issues, there are a few things you can check both in Microsoft Word and in Canvas that might help you understand who actually is doing the work in your course. In Microsoft Word, one thing I always check is who authored the paper. By clicking on File, and then under the Info tab, you can see who authored the paper by looking under the Related People section. You can see who the author was and who last modified it. You'll also be able to see how long the student spent editing it and when it was modified and last created. And sometimes popping out all properties can tell you a little bit more. Now it's not uncommon for students to share computers or use library computers, so this may not be foolproof. However, if you see that a student spent only 35 minutes writing a 10-page paper, that's a little suspicious. Other things you can look at in Microsoft Word include looking at the types of resources that the student is sharing. If you're seeing a lot of resources that reference journals like this one, this PLOS 1, this is an open source journal. It's a giant open source science journal. S though it is peer reviewed, it's suspicious to me that students would select publications from an open source journal when we have such great databases provided to students through the Niagara University Library. So if you're seeing a lot of open source references, that leads me to suspect that whoever wrote this didn't have access to the robust set of resources the Niagara University Library provides. One last thing to look at when you're reviewing course papers is where are the studies being conducted? If you're seeing a lot of studies that are conducted in far-flung locations around the world, like Nairobi, New Delhi, the UAE, when your student is supposed to be writing about topics relevant to students in Canada or the United States, this would raise a red flag. It's worth at least having a conversation with the student about why they are selecting studies that are conducted in esoteric locations where the students may or may not actually resemble North American students. Moving into Canvas, there are a few things you can look at here. Open your course and start by clicking on People. First, note the total activity column. This gives a running report of how much time each of your students has spent in your Canvas course. It presents in hours, minutes, and seconds. You can see you know, what your class average time is and then if there's any outliers in the group. Further, if you click on a student's name, this pops out more information about that particular student. And if you scroll to the bottom of the list, you'll see this little menu about their activity compared to the class. You'll see an, a rating of how their participation is compared to the class and how their page views are compared to the class. Further, if you click on the student's name, you can also pop out the access report, which gives you an idea of how frequently they're looking at the different resources in your class and how many times they are participating with those resources. If you give quizzes in your class, it's handy to look at the course quiz log. Click on a quiz name to open it. Click on moderate this quiz. Navigate to a student whose score looks a little suspicious. Click on the student's name and then click on the view log. This will show how the student moved through the quiz. So you can see if they answered all of the questions and then just waited for the time to run out, or if it actually seems like they took the test with integrity.